Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami. The seven foot three Nigerian giant ready to steamroll the competition. They say seeing is believing, but seeing Omas is still unbelievable. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas. A true dominant giant. No kidding. I got a neck ache just looking up at him. Omas's stature alone fills his opponents with fear. I feel fear in my soul. I'm not, I'm not even in the ring with the guy. So bad. You win this title, you are a top name in this industry. Kendo stick. It's garbage cans, chairs, ladders, throw in the kitchen sink because you get nailed with anything in an Extreme Rules match. Now, this is the epitome of carnage and chaos where anything can turn into a lethal weapon. Which is why it is crucial to exploit a weakness as soon as it's discovered. Placed into the corner. Oh, Moss with great awareness. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Between the shoulder blades. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Determination in his eyes and now a kendo stick in his hands. He's setting it up on the ring apron right now. You've got to wonder what he has in mind here. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Oh man, sucking the steps right into them. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. And with a weapon in hand, the stakes just got dramatically raised in this match. Struggling a bit. Reed's Australian strong style certainly looked effective there. Lands the trash can. That'll leave a mark. Everything working against Omas now. Omas has to exhibit some resiliency now. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through it. Others want to inflict as much damage as possible, and some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. Elbow drop on target. Oh, look out, heading to the ladder now. Oh, no, and almost taking flight. Slips out of the way. 
He'll take things into the ring. Moves outside. What's the plan here? And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight-up appetite for destruction territory here. What punishment being dealt by Reed? Bronson Reed incessant in his approach. Top block, debilitating counter. He must have had that scouted. And Reed with a counter. Holy, meet the barricade. And the pressure on Omas continues to mount. Yeah, Omas has to plot a way to get back into this. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Air raid crash. it more. Hoist it up. Suplex! Overwhelming offense now from Bronson Reed. Reed's a wrecking ball in motion. He's setting his... That can't be. No, no! Where's Joey Styles when you need Dangerous spot for him to be in. Oh, no. I mean, this is a massive amount of humanity. Perch from the second rope, now up to the top rope. No way! Oh, my God! There's no question now. The referee has to stop this match. We just... New champ! A new era begins! 